Uh, nope. Uh, the president was pretty clear yesterday when he pointed out the fact that he feels as though Iran uh, is likely the culprit of this attack. I mean, it was a global attack uh, on our, uh, excuse me, attack on the global economy. And um, the president is dealing with all of our partners and allies in the region. We want to make sure that um, the evidence and the information uh, clearly points to a culprit here. In all likelihood, as the president said, it was Iran. Uh, but when we have a definitive answer on that, we'll let you know. Well, listen, the president has been very clear as well that we're not going to begin to have conversations with Iran uh, until they change uh, the behavior that they've been a part of for more than 40 years. And when you're the world's largest state sponsor of terror, you're going to have to change behavior if the President of the United States is going to have a conversation uh, with you. Um, the President wants to make a deal with Iran. He sees great potential uh, in the country. But um, I'd say for the better part of 40 years, this kind of behavior has been well documented, well known across the globe. The president wants to see that kind of behavior change. We've been tougher on Iran than any administration in history with the sanctions we put on them, up to and including yesterday from the briefing room. Uh, but um, they've got to change behavior if, if we're going to have conversations, because right now uh, the situation's untenable. Okay. We'll partnership with our allies in the region. I don't have anything further for you on the matter. I'd definitely direct you to state for that. Again, the president's being cautious, and, and if he were if we were uh, banging the gong today about uh, Iran being the culprit uh, definitively, without presenting the case to the American people, everyone would be saying he's a warmonger. So the fact is, the president's taking this tact very clear-eyed. It's a, quite frankly the same posture he's taken with North Korea. We're not releasing sanctions on North Korea, but we're having conversations with Kim Jong Un. We expect the same thing with Iran. It doesn't. Uh, it's one of our partners. Uh, they're in the region, experience this stuff on a daily basis. We want to consult with them. We want to have conversations with them. But ultimately, the President of the United States makes those decisions. It's not dictated to us by another country. Okay. Who was? Who else does the administration consider? Well, Iran themselves are blaming their allies in Yemen when their allies in Yemen don't have the ability to carry out such an attack. So, again, I'm not going to get ahead of. of um, of what the president is going to do or what he won't do, and I'm definitely not going to speculate on people uh, who haven't been, even been named yet. How do you mean hold up or sticking point? Right, so why hasn't the president come out more clearly yet? Well, it hasn't, because his preconditions were set pretty clearly that they have to change their behavior before any conversations. The maximum pressure campaign, are uh, that, that is what... Um, remains to be the preconditions. Uh, we've put pressure on them, we've sanctioned them, and we've even named the Iranian National Guard a terrorist organization. So our position has been clear on that. Okay.